introduction hello students look at the images given here camel yak squirrel snakes are all terrestrial animals but their physical appearance and behavior are very different from each other similarly plants like cactus water hyacinth and hydrilla are also different in their physical appearance and behavior all plants and animals develop different features that help them to survive in their surroundings let us learn more about the living organisms and their surroundings objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to identify the characteristics of living organisms describe the characteristic features of plants and animals we know that living organisms human beings animals and plants require food to survive in their surroundings they show great divergence in their physical appearance but they all grow and develop during their life cycle all living organisms carry out various basic functions like growth development nutrition respiration reproduction and excretion in order to remain alive they require food or some other form of nutrition to survive and interact effectively with their surroundings now we will study important characteristics of living organisms that differentiate it from non-living things all living organisms plants or animals are comprised of cells they may be unicellular or multicellular depending on the number of the cells in their body small size organisms like amoeba paramecium are made up of one cell they are called unicellular organisms human beings pigeons mango tree are made up of many cells so they are called multicellular organisms another important characteristic of living things is nutrition all plants and animal require food to grow and survive plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight whereas animals depend on plants for their food another important characteristic of living organisms is movement all living things move by their own accord people walk rocks leap snake crawls are actions of movement similarly plants also make some movement but they do not change their place for example goat climbers move towards the support when you place a plant near the window you observe that plant bends towards the light entering through the window this characteristic is called responsiveness to stimuli similarly when we touch the hot utensil a spontaneous reaction is to pull our hand back thus living thing respond to the stimulus received from the surroundings respiration is an important characteristic of living organisms they require oxygen for the process of respiration animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide the oxygen entering in the body oxidize the food to produce energy this energy is further utilized by the body to carry out various life activities plants respire through tiny pores present on the surface of leaf and stem a very important characteristic of living things is reproduction all living things have the ability to reproduce another living thing of its own kind animals like pigeons snake and frog lay eggs while some animals like lion dog and human give birth to the young ones of their own kind plants reproduce through seeds or some other parts of the plants
Animals require food for growth and development. However, during the process of digestion, many waste materials are produced in the body, which does not provide any nourishment to the body. Therefore, they are excreted out from the body. The process of passing out the waste substances from the body is excretion. Plants excrete waste substances in the form of vapors, gums, and raisins. All living things have limited lifespan. The lifespan is different for different plants and different animals. But they eventually die one day. Death occurs in all plants and animals. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. All living organisms, plants or animals are comprised of cells. All living things require nutrition to grow. All living things move by their own accord. Animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. The oxygen entering in the body oxidizes the food to produce energy. All living things have limited lifespan. 